Why is there a tiny hole in the airplane window? Firstly, the holes allow air to flow between the window panes, equalizing the pressure inside and outside the plane. This prevents the outer pane from cracking or breaking due to pressure changes. Hmm. Secondly, the holes allow moisture to escape, preventing the windows from fogging up. Hmm. Lastly, the holes allow air to escape, which reduces the whistling or humming sound caused by air flowing over the window. Hmm. How high do planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Huh? What is human skin made up of? Epidermis, the top layer of our skin, makes new skin cells as well as protects us from germs, sun, and the rain. Also, it contains melanin, the pigment which gives our skin its color. Hmm. Dermis, the middle layer, is responsible for producing sweat as well as keeping our skin strong, flexible, and smooth. Also, it is Dermis's responsibility to tell us if something is too hot or cold. Hmm. Hypodermis, or fatty layer, is the bottom most layer. It protects our bones and muscles from injuries during a fall. Hmm. What causes some people to stutter? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc. Thus, allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. Huh? How do 3D glasses actually work? In 3D theaters, two projectors which are synchronized with each other are used to project two different views, each with a different polarization, onto the screen. Now, the 3D glasses which we wear contain lenses with different polarization. Each one of them allows only a single image of a specific polarization to enter our eye. The other image of a different polarization is not allowed to enter. Our brain receives these two images and puts them together in a single three-dimensional image. Hence, we are able to watch 3D movies. Hmm.